A cylinder with height 2h is going to be cut from a solid sphere with radius 4 centimetres. Express the radius of the cylinder in terms of h. Hence, find the value of h, which gives a maximum possible value for the volume. OK, so before we do this, we're going to look at this in the GeoGebra app. And the app I will put in the notes of the video. So here we have our GeoGebra app. So basically what we've got here is we can see we have a cylinder inside a sphere. And we're going to cut this cylinder from the sphere. So it's a three-dimensional three um, model. OK, so the height of the cylinder is 2h, as said in the question. So h plus h makes 2h. The radius of the sphere is 4. You can see that by, if I make that down to that, you can see the radius there is 4, the blue line there. OK, and then if I move up like that, obviously I want the maximum volume. What is the maximum volume? It's going to be somewhere around here, because you can see there it's getting smaller and there it's getting larger, that I can cut out of this sphere. And if we just look, we can see it at different angles here. OK, and you can do this on the Judge app for yourself. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to consider this uh, right angle triangle here, where this is H, which is half of the height of the cylinder. This is 4, which is the radius of the sphere, and R is going to be the radius of the cylinder. OK, we'll come back to that at the end. OK, so drawing that diagram out, so drawing the right angle triangle out for ourselves, we got to have the radius of the cylinder R, the height, half the height of the uh, cylinder, which we're going to call H, and we want... Uh, the radius of the um, sphere is going to be 4. So R is the radius, H is half the height of the cylinder. So both these refer to the cylinder. This is the radius of the sphere. OK, so using Pythagoras' theorem, so writing R in terms of H, we can say by Pythagoras' theorem, that 4 squared is going to be equal to r squared plus h squared. And therefore, we can rearrange that for r like we're asked to do. So r squared will be 4 squared minus h squared. And therefore, r will be equal to the square root of 16 minus h. OK, so the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. But the h in this case is going to be the whole height of the cylinder. So it's going to h is going to actually be 2h. So OK, so the height of the cylinder is going to be 2h. This here r is going to be 16 minus b uh, h squared. I'll just repeat that for you. This is going to be, this height here is going to be 2h, and the radius here is going to be 16 minus h squared. OK, so substituting, we're going to have v is pi r. So r is going to be a square root of 16h uh, all h squared, and then we're going to need to square that times the height of the cylinder, which is 2h. So you're going to have 2 pi h of 16 minus h squared and that expanding that we're going to get 2 times 16 which is 32 and then we've got pi h minus 2 pi h cubed right so for a maximum we need to find the differentiate the volume now with respect to h so we're going to have dv by dh is going to be equal to 32 pi minus 6 pi h squared for a maximum, the derivative dv by dh will have to be equal to 0. So we'll put 32 pi minus 6 pi h squared equal to 0. So doing that, uh, so that means that 32 pi, taking this over here, we're going to have 6 pi h squared. Therefore, h squared will be 32 pi over 6 pi. The pi's will cancel out. And then this will, the 2 goes into that 16 and into 6, 3. 
So we're going to have the h is going to have to be the square root, the positive square root, because it's a, a length of 16 over 3. The square root of 16 is 4, so we get 4 over root 3. Normally we would rationalise that, so that would be root 3 times root 3, it's multiplying. So using another part of the course, we've got 4 root 3, root 3 times root 3 is 3 centimetres, and that's approximately equal to 2.31 centimetres. So, verifying by a maximum. Now, to verify a maximum is that you take the first derivative, which is all of that, and differentiate it again. So, you differentiate 32 pi, you get nothing. Differentiate this, you're going to get 2 times minus 6, which is minus 12 pi h. Now, we take our value of h and put it in here. Because h is positive, then the second derivative will be negative, i.e. less than 0 which means that we have a maximum point. So we've verified it's a maximum. Now, in order to find the maximum volume, we now take our value of h and substitute it into here, into v, 32 pi h minus 2 pi h cubed. So putting it in, we can put it in an exact form. Okay, and on our calculator, we can use the exact form as well. Okay, to get 154.77 which is approximately equal to 155 centimetres cubed. So if we go back to the um, G-algebra app, so we want h to be about 2.31. So h is 2.31. Let's see if I can get that. So just one more there. Okay, uh, can we get, there you go. That was to give me the maximum volume. If of that sphere, that's what it would look like if I cut it from that sphere. Okay, and like I say, the GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of this video. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the maximum volume of a sphere cut, sorry, the maximum volume of a cylinder cut from a sphere. I hope you understood, and I thank you very much for watching.